Y'all know I did the same thing with MW3. Like, please tell me how I have not already recorded this video. It's kind of crazy. I have not set up any of the audio properties inside OBS. Ugh. But we're here and the video is finally coming out. Basically, this video is all about my thoughts on the new Call of Duty. Uh, but mostly, I'm just gonna be talking about what my thoughts on Black Ops 6, the sniping, the camo grinding, the zombies, everything to involve inside of it and i'm like so so positive y'all don't remember this but if you do it's gonna be a throwback and i'm so sorry for the cringe just in it let's go play some black ops 3 guys <laughs> in any way i have no idea how i made that sound listen to this i have no idea no idea at all how i made that sound also if you guys can't tell i am so very clearly my nose is running my nose is red if you like you can tell in this image right here my nose is very red and I'm a little bit stuffy. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through this. I just haven't made a video in a while and I'd love to get back on it, boys. Look at that. We're only 11 levels, not even. We're six levels away from prestiging again to get prestige three. I'll have a video coming out soon on how to level up fast in Black Ops 6. This game, I mean, honestly, really isn't that bad. Like, I'm addicted to it. I'm not gonna lie. Although I will admit that no matter what the Call of Duty is, I've always been addicted to it. The sniping on it feels good. I like the Omni movement. The only problem I'm having right now is the fact that when I run, I cannot run. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, there's a couple things other than that. Like, there's a centering issue that they have on this game. For the most part, it's okay. But, I mean... All right, I just want to throw it out there that this is my first game on today. On top of that, the multiplayer in general in this game, it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's fantastic only because of the fact that skill-based dude is actually killing this freaking game. Like, I'm not even lying to you. It is so hard to get on and actually have fun on this game. That's a crazy hit marker. I will say that too, dude, dude. This game, for sniping, the hit markers are actually, like, insane. I guess if you already have, like, a class set up just to not hit marker, which, for the most part, I do, except it's very slow. And, uh, like, I, I don't know how, if I want to trade off the no hit marker for the slowness or if I like this type of speed. I, I don't know. My boy Rack over there, he, he'd rather have speed than he, he would no hit marker. I just can't. Like, for some reason, it's just not in my power. Like, I, I just can't do the hit markers, man. But it is a lot. It is a big difference. Like, the speed. Spawn! Spawn! Let me hit something real quick. Oh, for the video. Let me hit it live. Ah, I tried. Speaking of hitting live, bro, look at this triple collat I hit on the game already. I'm using red guns. Red guns are just always have been easy. So I, we were going for camos. We still are going for camos, as you can see. Dude, I want some pretty epic camos for thumbnails this year. Like I said, I want some pretty epic camos for thumbnails this year. As you can see, we already got diamond snipers. We literally got diamond snipers super freaking easy. So that's, that's my diamond sniper, just to show you guys I have diamond. There's a ton of pros to the cons that there are in this game that make it playable. And personally... It's kind of hard to have fun on this game without playing with a couple buddies. Multiplayer overall is a good game. The most overpowered guns are obviously, you know, the snipers, one shots. For the most part, there's, uh, you know, most, sometimes they hit marker, man. Depending on your attachments, they hit marker. Um, this Tonto that this dude's using actually is one of the overpowered weapons in this game. So I went for camos last year, did not finish them. Dude, this year we're going for camos. We're going to complete them. Okay. It's gonna happen. We're gonna have the dark matter. So, so just be looking out for those videos because they will be coming very shortly. If you're enjoying Black Ops 6, let me know that as well. If you don't like it, let me know why. I want to know what your opinion on Black Ops 6 is. And a lot of you before know that I used to put baby powder on my hands. I did used to do that. I actually stopped doing that just because it was messing with my asthma. So, I mean, multiplayer, let's go ahead and give that a check. I would say probably an 8 out of 10 for multiplayer game. One. Peek out. Bro, you're literally hard scoping. Get out of your scope. You're walking in your scope, bro. Bro, sometimes these players, man, they really be making me so frustrated. I swear. Multiplayer solid 10 out of 10, okay? Let's just leave it at that. Update to the world. I've lost my controller. It's on the ground. Bro, I swear if I come down here and they're all hard scoping again, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, there's a clip there, bro. There was a clip there. There was a clip there and I'm choking, bro. If this kid does not stop hard scoping me, I'm going to lose my shit. Zombies, dude, it feels like old zombies again. I would say it feels like Black Ops 3 zombies, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, get freaking wrecked. Get Gobblegums back in BO3 Zombies, and you actually earn them a different way than the Liquid Divinium, and it, it's kind of crazy to me because I, I enjoy the way you, you get them now. You just get them by, you know, surviving rounds, and you get some each round. Because the highest round I've gotten so far on any map was Liberty Falls, and I actually got to round 67 on that map. Um, Liberty Falls, I would have to give it probably maybe a 7 out of 10. It's a really easy map, I will say that. It's really easy. They all, they all separated. They all separated. He's teabagging me. What the hell? Yeah, you like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? Oh, no, he came back. He came back, bro. He knew what was happening. Uh, Terminus, I think I've played Terminus maybe twice. I, I don't know. I'm not big on Terminus. I would say it's probably the better of the two maps just because it's harder. It's more challenging. Yeah, Liberty Falls, probably an eight or a seven. I don't even remember what I said. Seven or eight. And then I would say Terminus is probably a nine. But for the most part, dude, Zombies is good. The round base is good. The rounds go by faster. They actually have a Rage Inducer on it, which makes it so much better because it makes it go by way faster. That kid is just awful. I'm awful. Oh, never mind. I'm better. Somebody's calling me, chat. Hello? Bro, all these scam callers, man, trying to talk to me. I don't need your extra coverage. Extra coverage? What is this bull? Extra coverage? I don't need it. Why would I need it? That doesn't even make any sense. If I have insurance on my vehicle, why the hell would I need extra coverage? Like, what? Cameras don't even try, man. They don't even try. They don't even try. Now it's time to get into the campaign and talk about the campaign. So let's talk about it. I haven't played the campaign, guys. I'm sorry. I, I just don't. I played the campaign last year, and it was strictly because it was the shortest campaign, and you could play it before release of the actual game. Let's see. Making content on this game. That's probably the next step in, in, the, in the talking journey that we have, right? I talk to a lot of people on the daily that think they can't make content because they're not good at this game, but you guys see me making content, and I'm straight up trash. Man, if you guys watched the, uh, the montage, we released on bo6 this was actually a big map in that uh for the beta boom as long as you add your personality into your videos right a hundred percent of the time you're making content whether you're good at the game or bad at the game or whatever dude i'm literally going three and five right now making content on this game i mean last game i went 30 and 16 game for that i went 22 and 40 like you do not have to be amazing at this game to make content all you have to do is put your personality into it dude it is not just up to call of duty to make this game great dude when y'all post i and i'm not trying to call anybody out here i'm really not the fact that you post the same thing that every other person posts makes the game stale you know what i mean <laughs> Throw some personality into the video, dude. That's what people want to see. The reason that they stay on your channel is for your personalities. When I was 14, bro, 14 or 15, I was making videos on Black Ops 2, literally Black Ops 2, cut comps, had an Elgato, had a laptop. I literally was doing everything I could to make this work, right? When I was daily uploading on YouTube, wake up at 6 or 7 a.m., right? And that's if I slept. Go to school, right, from 7 till I think it was 2. So seven till about two. From two until five, I was at wrestling practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so after that, you did videos. You had five till, you know, you went to bed. No, I actually had to work. And I was working from 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. at night. I wasn't getting home till 11 p.m. every night. And at 11 p.m., you think, oh, you're just too tired. You probably went to sleep. No, 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 no. Every single day, bro. Every single day, I made a video. I recorded. I edited. I made the thumbnail. Had the idea. It doesn't matter what it was. They were just coming on here and talking to you guys, man. Like, that's the personality I wish to bring back. That's who I wish to be because that's who I am. I like to yap, bro. I am a certified yapper. I would say that this game in general is just a good game for right now. Um, I can't promise that it's going to stay good because I don't know what direction it's going to take. This game has so much opportunity in it. It has so much potential for creators. If you're a creator, throw on your camera. Stop thinking about if it's going to be perfect. It's not. It doesn't matter. I wear a hat in my videos because this is how my hair looks, right? Okay? So, like, yeah, it's not perfect. Man, dude, you just got to get on and do it. Like, get on and do it. Like I said, I got a couple more videos I got to record today. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it on that one. I hope you guys enjoy Black Ops 6. Remember, let me know how you are feeling about Black Ops 6. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Hopefully, we can hit 
hit it at some point this year, especially with this new Call of Duty. And like I said, I'm sorry for the wait for this video, dude. I definitely should have this video, especially I'm prestige to level 49 right now. And I should 100% have this video out. Love you, boys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And like I said, I'll be recording multiple. So we should be back on track to record videos, um, at least until we can get a schedule going. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and send this video out on a good note.